Hi guys, how are you? Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon to you too, Azad. Is Shirin there too? Thank Hi. you. Hi Shirin, how are you? How have you been? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm very fine. Very fine, very good, thank you. Mm -hmm, good. So, whose turn is it to do the review? <clears throat> Um, I'll do the review. Uh, you're breaking hear me? up. Yes, I can hear you, but you're breaking up. Uh, please say something. Hello. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear yeah. you now. Okay, please start the review. Let me see how it goes. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, the uh, first word um, in the last session that we had was mm -hmm. tiniest. Uh, in that context, it meant youngest or smallest. Mm -hmm. Then we had the blast. Mm -hmm. Blast, um, as you said, has um, different meanings like mm -hmm. disaster, failure, explosion. But um, in that context, mm -hmm. it meant violent rush of or wind. Yes. Yeah, but then visit you're breaking we, up so badly. Yeah, then I we think had uh, I think we need to get disconnected and connected again. Hi again. Hello again. Okay, I think you're better now. So you were saying yeah. the review. Yeah. Uh, then we had tragic mm -hmm. and tragic as you said is something that makes you sad mm -hmm. and um, it also we can also say uh, for example a person is tragic means, for example that person is unfortunate yes mm -hmm. yeah we have the expression uh, to die of something yes and uh, take two streets yeah, yeah to and, take two and streets, also um, means... Beza, to die of something and also something else to die with another preposition. He learned this expression with two different prepositions. Uh, um, like what? To die? Yes, to die of something or to die from something. Remember that? From something, yes. We had both. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, go on. Yes, yes. Die from something. Uh, to take two streets. Mm -hmm. It uh, means that when a lot of people gather in the street to show their protest. Protest. Uh, and uh, also it can be for protest, yes. Mm -hmm. It can also be used for celebrations. Yes. Uh, then we had perched, mm -hmm. which was a new word for us, mm -hmm. to us. Uh, and it means when you sit on something that is on an elevated position yeah. or when something is very narrow, and narrow and it's not suitable for sitting yes. we say perched yeah yeah we had the beam as the verb mm -hmm. which meant smile in that context yes. for example she yeah she beamed happily yes and we ha we had a um adjective adjective, an um, adjective. acting as an adjective uh -huh. acting as a noun yes. like three year old yes. without a noun after that Yes, exactly. We had shatter, which means tear tear apart. For example, when you damage or break something suddenly, yes. you bring about serious damage, as you said. Yes, very good. Bring about cause to happen. A new word. It means to cause to happen. Let me type yes. it here. Yeah. Bring about means cause to, cause to happen. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, go and, on. And uh, as you said, we can um, use shattered or it can be mm -hmm. used in other contexts. For example, mm -hmm. shatter their health. Yes. Shatter him. Yes, exactly. As well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, then we had to rush, which means yes. to do something or to go somewhere in a hurry. Yes. To do something and, in a hurry or to yeah. go somewhere in a hurry? Yes, both are correct. Yes. 
For example, you can say, don't rush into this. Yes. Or don't rush into marriage. Yes. It means take your time. Don't make a um, decision yet. Mm-hmm. Yes, very good. We have blaze, um, which is the fire that you can see um, goes everywhere. Yes. Shield as a verb, to shield means to protect. What was that protect. in Persian? Do you remember the Persian equivalent? Yeah. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Impact of the explosion was a nice expression. Mm -hmm. And um, you said about the, you know, stress that goes on the first part of impact, not yes. impact. Yes. It is actually impact, mm -hmm. the effect of blast, blast of the explosion, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Uh, then we had rubble. Yeah. Something that is created after an earthquake or after an explosion. Yes. And when uh, yeah, when someone uh, wants to say Agaman Budam, mm -hmm. it's better to say if it was me. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, In, we had intense, which means strong, severe, strict. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, expression, another expression that we had to keep hold of somebody mm -hmm. or to keep hold of something yes. um, means trying not to drop it, not to lose it mm -hmm. or not to uh, let something go. Yes, very good. Very good. Yes, yes. And uh, at the end, I think, yeah, we had yeah to hit a limb on something. Mm -hmm. For example, to hit my head on the wall. You mean to hit, not to heat. Heat is this. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes but hit. this one is hit. Yes, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was that all? So, uh, yeah, the review, yeah, um, um, is, yeah, it, that's about it. But I can see, you know, the screen. Oh, I can no, I haven't shared see, it yet. I'm you know, sorry. A, because we got disconnected, I didn't share it. Now oh, I'm yes. sharing it. Can you see it now? Yeah. Can you? Mm, yes. Okay. Now you can see it. Because I got disconnected as well as you did. And I forgot to share the screen. So here it is. Thank you very much, Behzad. Mm -hmm. It was very much thorough. That was great. Thank you. Yeah. So, Thank this is today's article. Shirin, would you please read the title? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do we do about a neighbor who breaks the distancing rules? Yes. I'm sure you understand the meaning of this sentence, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, can you tell me the tense of this sentence? What do we do about... Uh, who breaks mm -hmm. um, simple present exactly very good and tell mm -hmm. me which use of simple present is this which application which usage mm -hmm. rules fact so which one uh, rules um, a neighbor who breaks the distancing rules. It's not a rule. A neighbor who breaks. Rule. Breaks is the verb here. Mm -hmm. Bezo, don't help her, okay? Act. I want her to say it. Yes? I have nothing to help. Okay, good. Fact. It's a fact. Why? Fact. Why? Can you explain? Uh, um, uh, Dude, uh, these rules, uh, it's uh, mandate. It's mandatory, okay. uh, and it's a type of rules uh, that. No, no. Sure. And... Focus on the first part. See, I say, what do we do? Just suppose that it's not about mm -hmm. social distancing or anything else. We're uh -huh. in a situation. Uh -huh. We have a problem. Okay, for example, mm -hmm. for example. I have a problem with my own child, okay? This is the first mm -hmm. time that my teenage mm -hmm. child uh, shouts at me, okay? And you mm -hmm. have a teenage child too, 
I don't know mm-hmm. what to do in such situations. This is the first time I have such a problem. So I say, what do we do? What do I do, Shirin? Mm-hmm. What is that? Mm-hmm. I've used present simple, but which application is that? A neighbor breaks the rules for social distancing. This is the first time this person um, has had this problem. So she or he asks, what do I do? What do we do? And it's present simple. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's... Mm-hmm. It's a fact that okay. Okay. It, it might mm-hmm. happen again and again. Very good. Excellent. So it's a fact. It's a situation that might happen, as you said, again and again. Mm-hmm. I'm asking this question, what do we usually do in such situations? Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. should I usually do in such situations? Yes, very good. Okay, let me scroll so that you can see the first mm-hmm. paragraph. Would you please read the first mm-hmm. sentence, only the first sentence? Okay. <clears throat> we, live, um, we live on side of the duplex. No, no, no. Duplex. Sure, focus, uh, focus. On one. Mm-hmm. We live on one side of a duplex in a, a dis- densely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Densely populated urban area of Seattle. Yes, very good. We live on one side of a duplex. What's a duplex in English? Duplex. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's a kind of uh, house. Okay. How is uh, it? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's uh, twisters. Uh, and twisters. What do you mean by twisters? Two s two s two. There's a don't two have sta- No, not stairs. There yeah. is this. Shirin, see, this is stair. It's the same as a step, which means pelle. But you want to say uh-huh. tabare. It's not stair. But uh-huh. you're close. It's another word. Mm-hmm. Two. Story? Yes, two stories. Two story. uh, yes, exactly. Uh, story. Uh, two, story. two stories, yes. Uh, but they have mm-hmm. uh, different entrance. Okay, very good. Uh, Shirin, instead of saying different, which is not appropriate here, mm-hmm. you need another word, another adjective. We don't say different. If you say they have different entrances, it means that, for example, if you and I live in a duplex, my entrance is, for example, mm-hmm. a two meter high door, and yours is a three meter high door. They're that different. Mm-hmm. Or mine is black, yours is brown. But no, mm-hmm. they're not different entrances. There's something else. Separated. Very good. Separate. Yeah, you, you could say separated too. Separate dif- entrances. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's what a duplex is. In a densely populated urban area. What does urban mean? And what is the part of speech of urban in this sentence? Mm -hmm. Uh, Urban. Mm -hmm. Populated urban. uh, Urban area. Yes. First of all, tell me the part uh, of speech. uh, Verb, adverb, adjective, noun. What is it? Adjective. Yes, very good. Adjective. It's an adjective. And what does it mean? Uh, Urban, uh, it's near to city. Uh, It's a kind of countryside. Okay. Bezat, what does uh, urban mean? Um, in English, okay? Don't don't say it in Farsi. In English, tell me what urban means. Urban means city. City. No, I will start with it. City. Urban mm-hmm. area. Yes. Mm-hmm. What did you say, uh, Shirin? Uh, I, countryside. I didn't catch that last part of your speech. What uh, was it? Urban is a city, but rural, rural 
it's countryside yes, but yes. urban is a city but urban mm -hmm. here is not an is not a noun so you can't say urban is a city it's not a city mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is it urban. you're close but you, you need to explain it better urban mm -hmm. doesn't mean city because city is a noun urban is an adjective um, it's adjective mm. downtown. No, 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 it doesn't mean something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how did what did you say, Shireen? Uh, it so. means shahri. yes, okay, uh, it's adjective. exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's an adjective. How do you say that in English? Related to the city. Yeah. Related to the city. It doesn't mean city. Mm -hmm. You cannot say, mm -hmm. I live in an urban. That's wrong. You mm -hmm. can say, I mm -hmm. live in an urban area or I live in a mm -hmm. city. Okay, but not mm -hmm. in an urban. So, urban here mm -hmm. is an adjective and it means related to the city. So, this area mm -hmm. is urban. It means that this area is located in the city. And mm -hmm. densely populated. What does that mean in English again? Densely, um, it means close, very uh, crowded. It's very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. Very crowded, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Densely populated, a very crowded mm -hmm. area. Thank you very much. Now, Besut, would you mm -hmm. please read the next sentence? Yeah. Uh, three weeks into the shelter-in-place order, mm -hmm. three weeks into the shelter-in-place order, yes, our neighbor who lived on the lived other there. side of the duplex, lived. yeah, lived. lives, uh -huh. yeah, who lives on the other side of the duplex had multiple people coming in and out all week mm -hmm. and then held a barbecue on his small patio, patio. yes exactly patio, patio. Yes. on a small patio with uh, several people where it was uh, impossible to remain six feet apart yes very good so Beza, three weeks into the shelter in place order three weeks into something what does it mean three weeks into uh, when we were when they were in the period mm -hmm. that uh, you know they uh, had to um, uh, had to be uh, in lockdown or yes. had to you know follow the rules of quarantine yes. three weeks into that period, I yeah, think. What does it mean to say three weeks into that period? Three weeks into the shelter in place order. During? Maybe um, in the first uh, three weeks of, um, you know, um, starting, uh, starting the lockdown. Yes, very good. So just three weeks after that. Yes. Okay, three weeks oh, after Three that. weeks after that. Yes. Three weeks oh, after the start, as you explained. Three weeks after mm -hmm. the start or after it started. We, we use this structure elsewhere too. For example, 10 minutes into the movie, the power went out. It means that, for example, after 10 minutes that we started yes. watching the movie, the power went out. We had no electricity, so we couldn't watch the rest. Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. Two minutes yes. into our stay uh, on that resort in that resort area, um, we ran out of money. Okay. Yes. Can you give me an ex uh, an example of this structure? Mm. You can also, excuse me, use it with distances too. Two kilometers yeah. into the road, we had a flat tire, for example. You can use yeah. it with distance or time. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, last night, I went mm -hmm. um, for running and 
20 minutes into running, mm -hmm. I felt exhausted yes, very because good. I was not ready. Yes, thank you. Now, Shirin, your example, please. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 minutes into cardio no, no, no. exercise. No, no, no. Focus. 10, uh -huh, 10, 10 minutes. Yes, yes. Into cardio exercise. Into the, your into the cardio mm -hmm. exercise. Use the, into always the. the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 10 minutes into the the cardio exercise, mm -hmm. uh, your um, cardiovascular system mm -hmm. will uh, adapt it. Um, will be adapted. Will be adapted. Or I, I'm not sure how you say it. That's why I said I, I use passive voice. Maybe you should say will adapt itself. I don't know how it works. So mm -hmm. I don't know whether it should be passive or active. It is, is it something that is done automatically or you do something for it? I, I don't get it. No, no, no. automatically. So, so you're, you're, it, it does it mm -hmm. itself. So it's, it must be active, not yeah. passive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And of course, if you're uh, talking about a fact, you shouldn't use will. Use simple present mm -hmm. because it's a fact. Uh -huh. Your body fact, adapts. It. Adapts itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your body adapts. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Now, Bezat, we were saying the shelter in place order was the order that the government issued. We had this before. Shelter in place is quarantine. Our neighbor, <clears throat> who lives on this other side of the duplex, had multiple people coming in and out all week. Had multiple people coming in and out. Can you explain this, please, Bezat? What is this had in this sentence and why does it get ing? Mm. And multiple people. Yes, um, um, it is actually um, the, um, their neighbor mm -hmm. uh, had, um, because it was uh, something that happened in the past. So it's better to use had. No, had no, no, no. Multiple... no it's, not. it's not past perfect. Past per perfect not is had plus past participle. I know. Uh huh. But so... it's not past perfect. No, it's not past perfect. Yes. It's, yeah. Um, it's telling you a story about the past. Okay, yes. Go on. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, on, on that time that um, he mentioned, mm -hmm. um, the neighbor <clears throat> had multiple um, people yes. who were coming in and out. All week. Okay, what is this had in here? Why do we have had in this sentence? I don't mean why is it in the past form? Why is it not have? No. Why this verb? It's, um, it's about relative clause and uh, the past participle. No. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it remind you of something else? Haven't you seen mm -hmm. um, other sentences like this? Um, yes, I know. Mm -hmm. For example, um, I had my car washed. Okay. So can you explain more? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I use it occasionally, but I don't know the rule. For example, mm -hmm. Um, I can say, um, I, I had mm -hmm. the, for example, mechanic, mm -hmm. um, fixed my car. No, I had the mechanic fix my car, not fixed. Fix my fix car. Yes. My yes. Car. Fix my car. Yes. Very good. Yes. So or you, you, I had my mm -hmm. car, mm -hmm. I had my car mm -hmm. fixed. Yes, very good. Those are two good examples and you're using them correctly. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's how you use it and it's not past perfect. But why does it get ing yes. in here? Shirin, if you know, you can say it too. Yes, uh, it's about relative clauses. No, 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 and not relative clauses. Mm -hmm. The present... Uh, mm -hmm. 
Okay, but just focus. You need to use um, your own thoughts about this. It's not something that's written in a grammar book. Okay, you have to focus on the sentence, then you'll understand. What mm -hmm. Bezat was said was correct. To have somebody do something. Yes. To have somebody do something. It means to convince them to do something or to arrange it for them to do this. You make them do it or you arrange it for them to do it. So mm -hmm. in here, Behzad, uh, now that Shirin is thinking about it, now tell me this. When this person says that their neighbor had multiple people coming in and out, it means? It means what in English? No, in English. No, in English. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> had multiple people coming in and out only. Yeah. The, the um, um, uh, he uh, convinced those people to come to his place or he told them to come maybe to do something for him yes as guests so he didn't convince them he just arranged for them to do so Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So as their guests, yes. So any thoughts on coming? Why does it get ing? Had uh, multiple people coming in and out all week. Yeah, I'll give you a it yes. Was, uh, mm -hmm. Go on. Yeah, it was something that, you know, was uh, where it was something that was doing for a period in the past. Very good, excellent. Because of that exactly. Idea. Because it wasn't something that they did just once. He actually, yeah. or the writer here, wants to use past progressive or past continuous. He means that all that week he kept doing this. It wasn't yes, done just once. This. That's why he used a gerund in here, an ing form. Okay, very good. Yes. Had multiple people coming in and out all week and then held a barbecue. What does held mean in here in English? Um, held a barbecue um, means um, through a barbecue party. Yes, throw, throw, not through. Through is the past form. Throw, through, thrown. <laughs> okay, throw. Held is past? No. No, you said, what was your sentence? Say your sentence. Uh, through. No, the sentence, the whole sentence. Uh, yes, he threw a barbecue party. Yes, that is correct. If that was the sentence, I don't remember. Okay, that was correct. So he threw a barbecue a bar or a barbecue party. How do you say barbecue in short form or how do you spell it in short form? In short form. Yes. B -B. yes, yes. Yes, you're B -B. saying. BBC. Very good. Excellent. Yes. BBQ. Sometimes then it's with Q B -B. actually, not C. But yes, BBQ. BBQ. They B -B. usually type it like this when they're texting someone or sending a short message or anything via uh, social services. Excuse me, uh, social mm -hmm. networks. So, uh, what is a barbecue? Is that in English? What kind of a party? Barbecue. Is? What kind of a party is it? Uh, um, as I know, it's a kind of you know party mm -hmm. that um, the host mm -hmm. uh, makes um, barbecue on um, on a barbecue. <laughs> it's called a barbecue. The yeah. device uh, by which you make barbecue is called a barbecue too. Yes, and the most of the time it happens out of the house, yes, maybe in, in the yard. Yes, very good, excellent. What kind of a yard? There are two uh, different kind kinds of yards in English. Or in, yeah. I'm sorry, not in English. We use it in Farsi too. If you have a house, it's usually like that. Yeah. One yard is in the front, which is 
I don't know, very much uh, open. If someone opens the door, they can see it. And another one is in yeah. the back and it's somehow hidden. Yeah. So what are the names of these two kinds of yards? I think the second one. No, no, no. What are the names? First of all, what are the names of these two kinds of yards? In Persian, we say Hayat Poshti, Hayat Juloi. Okay, that's the name. But in English, there's a different name. Shirin, if you know, you can say it too. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, I, thought, I thought you got disconnected. Yeah. Why did you stay no, silent? No. Okay, Shirin, do you know anything no. about the name? In the yard and garden? No, not a garden. Hayat Julo is front line, front yard, the front yard. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Hayat Pushti is backyard. Backyard. Yes, but there's another another word for it too. Courtyard. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? Courtyard. courtyard. Yeah. The courtyard. No, no. No. Okay, so it's courtyard. So the barbecue is held in the courtyard, as you said. The yes. second one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Barbecue on his small patio. What's a patio? Patio? Yes. Barbecue on his small patio with several people where it was impossible. Patio is a place, I think. Yes. Yes. What kind of a place? Maybe a small place. Okay. In which people cannot, you know, uh, follow the rules of distancing. No, it doesn't have to do with the size of it. No, a patio can be big too. In here, the patio of this person was small, but patio doesn't necessarily need to be small. It could be big too. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, patio. Maybe in some uh, yards, mm -hmm. maybe there is a uh, small cottage in which they gather together to do uh, to um, to hold their um, parties. You cannot um, hold a cottage in a yard, but you can talk about it and say that it is used for parties. Yes, it could be used for parties. But if um, you've seen um, these American movies, you must have seen the parts where the scenes were, they hold barbecues. And they have mm -hmm. their barbecues, as you said, in the courtyard in, or in the backyard, which is sometimes a patio. There are fences around them, like in this picture, but there's no roof. Oh, yes. There's no roof or anything. And there might be a garden too. And there are some patio yes. furniture. That's a patio. Mm -hmm. it, is, yes. it is beside the house it, or it's in the back of the house. There are some fences yes. around it, but there are no walls, no walls, just fences mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. wooden fences maybe, or metal yes. faces maybe, fences maybe, but there's no roof. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have patio furniture too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what are patio furniture like? Uh, I don't know that in English. I don't know how they say it in English or the English pronunciation for it. But in Farsi, we call them moblemane ferforje. They usually use it as uh, patio furniture. They usually put it yes. in their patio. Okay. There are no cushions. You know the meaning of cushion? Yes. yes. Okay. There are no cushions. Uh, and you only... You only, um, uh, you only uh, use cushions if you have guests over or if you want to sit on the patio furniture. This way, yes. if it rains, then it doesn't, it doesn't get ruined. Get wet. Or get wet, yes. Yes, yes. Patio with several people where it was impossible to remain six feet apart. Okay, Shirin, would you please read the next sentence? Mm -hmm. um, he lives alone mm -hmm. and the guests mm -hmm. seemed to be friends. Yes. The structure in this sentence, what is it? The 
Sim. Structures, Shirin, always start with two. Started with uh, mm -hmm. an infinitive. Uh, to be seen? No. No, they don't start with to uh -huh. be. They start with two. Uh, to seem? Uh-huh, uh -huh, very good. To be... Mm -hmm. uh, for, to be... Uh, to be something. Yes, very to good. Be. Excellent. To seem mm -hmm. to be something. Something. Like, they seemed to be friends. These people mm -hmm. who came and went mm -hmm. seem to be friends of this neighbor. Would you please make a sentence mm -hmm. with this structure? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. The people mm -hmm. uh, are coming to the hospital. Mm -hmm. They seem to be uh, sick. Yes, very good. Very good example. Okay, Behzad, your turn, please. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, Behzad, <laughs> okay, you say something um, about training and exercise and sports. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when uh, someone um, can do uh, uh, um, cardio for an hour, yes. um, you can say um, he seems to be an, a real athlete. Athlete, yes, very good. <laughs> I see, yes. yes. Okay, that's a good example. Thank you. So, yeah. the next sentence, please, Shireen. Mm -hmm. Uh, it mm -hmm. bothered us that he appeared to uh, bra brazenly. No, 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 focus, focus on the sentence. To, to so mm -hmm. brazenly um, disregard yes. a guideline put in place to protect the community. Yes, very good. It bothered us mm -hmm. that he appeared to so brazenly disregard. Mm -hmm. Another structure in this sentence. What is it? Uh, to uh -huh. to bother. No. Mm -hmm. No, come on, Miss. Mm -hmm. Let her. Let her discover for herself. Don't say it. Mm -hmm. Shirin, did you punish him? Two sessions ago, I told you to punish him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be appear to okay. something. No, Shirin, yes, you're close, but I said don't start it with to be. No, just to. Uh -huh. okay. To appear uh -huh. to something. No. Say it again, please. To appear to something. No. Or um, somebody this is good. Before answering that, Shirin, can you tell me the part of speech of the word brazenly in here? What is the part of speech of this word? Adverb. Yes, it's an adverb. So adverbs are not parts of a structure. When you're talking about structures, mm -hmm. you don't mention the adverbs because adverbs can change. Mm. To appear to do something. Very good. To appear to do mm -hmm. something. To appear mm -hmm. to disregard. That was the main mm -hmm. sentence. But in order to mm -hmm. emphasize, the writer added so brazenly. Mm -hmm. Brazen. Okay. Mm -hmm. To appear to do something, like to seem. To seem to be something. It's very much close. Yes. Can you give me an example mm -hmm. of this? The second one, to appear to do something? And can you say it before you give me an example? Can you say it in Persian? Mm -hmm. Ben Azar Mirist. 
that he appeared to show. Uh, Is that how do you say that in Persian? He appeared to show. Uh huh, uh huh, showing you were close. What is uh huh, very good. Zahiran, what? Zahiran, uh, discard guidelines and he. That's to the no, no, just the meaning of the structure, not this sentence. The meaning of mm -hmm. to appear to do something. How do you say that in Persian? Zahiran ye kari yo anjom dodan. Zahiran ye zahiran dar hal anjom kari budan. Hal bastegi dara ke chetensi be kar dara. To appear to do something. Now, Shirin, mm -hmm. give me an example with this structure. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter mm -hmm. uh, appears to appear. Uh -huh. to, um, uh, to uh, do her homework. Okay, you mean all the time, huh? That's why you use present simple. Because you can say this in any tense. You can say it about the past. You can say it about the present or the future. She's appearing to... No, 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 not she's appearing. To appear is... The same. Mm -hmm. The other part, mm -hmm. the uh, verb that follows, can be turned and changed into different tenses. Mm -hmm. She appears. Uh huh. She appeared mm -hmm. to doing her homework. Okay. Now that sentence has a small, tiny problem. Can you fix it yourself? Mm hmm. She. To... Okay, let me type your sentence. She appeared to, what did you say? To doing her homework. To do. To do, to do her homework. Okay, she appeared to do her homework. No. She appeared. Use it in to... progressive form. She appeared to be doing. Very good. Excellent. Yes, exactly. This is the part that you can change. She appeared to be doing her homework. Means at the time when I looked at her, at the time when I opened the door to uh, her room or anything. Or right now, she appears to be doing. Excuse me. She appears to be doing her homework. You can say that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, to do something, to be doing something. Okay, very to good. Be doing something. Now, brazenly, do you know the meaning of the word brazenly? No. no. Not at all? Just guess. Uh, yes. Um, you have a guess? Use... I'll explain to yes. you and then guess in English, okay, not in Persian. Mm -hmm. You have a neighbor um, who doesn't abide by the rules. Who, does, who doesn't pay attention to the fact that they need to stay at home. You're mm -hmm. paying attention, you're staying at home, you're abiding by the rules, but he or she is not. And he is doing this. He's disregarding the guidelines brazenly. Yeah. Uh, obviously, obviously and without paying attention to the rules. Yes, very good. While mm -hmm. they're not feeling any shame. Yes. Okay. How do you say that in yes. Persian? There's a good translation for this. Brazenly. Mm. Yes. yes, very good. Yes. Shirin said it first. Bisharmone, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Brazenly disregard guidelines put in place to protect the community. Okay, thank you, Shirin. Bezot, would you please read the next thank sentence? You. Yes. <laughs> We hardly know this neighbor. Mm -hmm. We took. What does it mean to say we hardly know this neighbor? 
uh, he wants to say that he almost uh, doesn't know his neighbor. Very Maybe, good. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. He almost doesn't know. Yes. Go on. Yeah. And um, we took strict precautions mm -hmm. out of ourselves, so did not feel so did not feel personally at risk. Okay, wait. We took strict precautions ourselves. What does this sentence mean? We took strict precautions ourselves. Yeah, um, this neighbor that is bothered mm -hmm. from... By. Uh, bothered by. Uh, by his mm -hmm. neighbor. Bothered by his neighbor is saying that um, he and his family are uh, following the rules yes. and they are protected because of the, you know, because they have taken strict precautions. That's very good. So what and, does it mean um, to take a pre precaution or take precautions? Take precautions means to, you know, uh, follow the rules and uh, um, um, yes, you're correct, do, but I, I want you yeah. to explain better. When you take precautions, yeah. what do you do exactly, and why do you why do you do it? Um, they um, do they take precautions, or they um, do what they should do. Mm -hmm. As otherwise, I mean, otherwise, um, they will be in danger. Yes, very good. So they do it in order to prevent the danger, prevent from the danger mm -hmm. to happen or something. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Go on, please. So did not feel personally at risk. Mm -hmm. Yes, the last sentence. Uh, but um, yeah, in here, uh, was it if you're our... confused, excuse me, it's a letter that someone wrote yes. to this newspaper and they omitted the um, subject pronoun, we. So we did not feel personally at risk. Yes. They shouldn't have, actually, not. not in yes. here. But because, you know, people don't always abide yes. by grammatical rules. They just omitted the subject. In yes, there. yes. Okay, go on. Yeah. But uh, was it our ethical obligation to mm -hmm. ask him to stop having people over? Yes. Ethical. What does ethical mean in English? Moral. Moral. Yes, very good. Moral. An obligation? Give me a synonym for obligation. obligation. A synonym. Mm -hmm. Ethical um, uh, must. Mm -hmm. No, um, I want you to put another word instead of obligation in this sentence. Uh, yes. Was it our ethical uh, Yes, exactly. Our responsibility. Yes, very good. Another one, Shirin, another another synonym. Our ethical instead of responsibility. Responsibility is correct too, but anything else? Task. No. It's very easy. I'm sure you know it. But was it our ethical? Our ethical obligation, no. just obligation. If I tell you, you will kill yourself. Behavior? <laughs> no. <laughs> ethical. Uh, kill myself. Yes, you will kill yourself, like yesterday, Shirin. Beauty. Excuse me? Beauty. Yes, duty. Beauty. Exactly. Yes, very good. Okay. Shiri, now you can kill yourself because Behzad said that. Okay, so duty or obligation, responsibility in here. Yes. And a fifth person obligation to ask him to stop having people over. What is the structure here? To ask someone no. to do something. There, there is, no, not that. To stop. Yes, that is a structure. To, I want another one. Yeah, to, yeah. Uh, 
stop something not to, not that mm -hmm. no to stop something is the a part of that structure to mm -hmm. ask someone to do something mm -hmm. stopping here mm -hmm. is yeah. the, is has come instead of do but the second structure the structure that follows this one what is it having people over uh -huh. um mm -hmm. to stop no stop is a part of the first structure to ask somebody to do something instead of to do we have stop here there's another do uh, over okay do over. Mm -hmm. having people to over. ask him to stop having people over uh -huh. have uh, someone mm -hmm. over to have to have someone to have over, someone yes. over. what does it mean in english to have someone over to uh, have a guest yes very or yeah. to invite uh, yes exactly to have guests yes to have people over or to have someone over i can say i had my sisters over last night it means that they were my guests okay thank you very much yes uh sharon what is written at the end of this paragraph no, below the paragraph, mm -hmm. not at the end of it. What do you say? Name with help. Yes. No, Shirin was supposed mm -hmm. to read it. Okay, Shirin, what does yes. it mean? What does it mean to say name withheld? With help. Yes. Name. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's now rubbing your nose in it. <laughs> unknown yes 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 very good unknown. it's not unknown. unknown when you but you're close Shirin. when you say unknown mm -hmm. it means that maybe the newspaper owner the writer of this article doesn't know anything about it but withheld doesn't mean that Bezat, can you explain mm -hmm. withheld in here yeah um it means um the one who mm -hmm. uh sent this letter mm -hmm does not want to have his name mm -hmm. um printed be obvious or printed printed yes, yes. and yes. um mm -hmm. in here actually you can see a reduced clause shirin can you say what the reduced clause is reduced clause. name mm -hmm is with um, withheld with help. yes you could say that name too. is with help. yes you could say that too and what is the um, mm -hmm. uh the root of this verb withheld it's the past form what is the present mm -hmm. form or the root of this verb withhold yes withhold so what does withhold mean in English, mm. in English. Bezat, what does it mean in English? What withhold means um, to hesitate and not to do something. To hesitate or not to do something, which one? Not to do something. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with hesitation. It means that you refuse, yes, yes. you refuse to do it. You intentionally yes. don't want to do it. For example, yeah. you have a patient at the hospital and um, yes. it's a strange case. You don't know what's wrong with them. Yeah. And you ask them yes. where they were, what they ate, but they're withholding some information. They withhold yes. some information from you and they keep you in the dark. You don't know exactly what they ate that they have these symptoms. So there, yes. they are withholding information. Sometimes you don't want to express your feelings and sentiments. So you can withhold your sentiments too and your feelings. You refuse yeah. to show them. You refuse to give them. Okay. So they refuse to and, give um, them. Yes. Another, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. another verb that uh, we use mm -hmm. um, in medicine mm -hmm. uh, is withdraw. withdraw and there yes. is a difference between yeah withhold and withdraw yes. and it's usually used for you know uh, the patients who have um, a terminal illness uh -huh. and you uh, cannot do curative um, uh, 
you know, procedures. Yes. And if the family is convinced that mm -hmm. um, he will be died sooner or later. He will die. And okay. at this stage, yeah, he will die sooner or later. Mm -hmm. And you can, you know, approach these kind of patients mm -hmm. with uh, withholding or withdrawing. In withdrawing, mm -hmm. we actively, you know, reduce the um, uh, things that we had that we had for the patient. Okay. But withhold means um, not to do extra things, not to do, you know, uh, extra procedures or extra mm -hmm. uh, drugs for that patient who is in a terminal, who has a terminal illness. So. Um... I want to check to see if I understood it well. You mean that if the patient's family don't want him or her to be cured, you... Uh, because of the terminal illness. Yeah. And all of us know that mm -hmm. um, he will die. Uh -huh. But they, they, they have no hope. You mean that? If they have no hope? Yes. Then what, yes, what is yes. your, your approach? If they have no hope, you use withdrawal. Um, withdraw or withhold. Uh -huh, or withhold. So if it's withdraw, yes. you don't uh, prescribe anything. Yes? Uh, if it is withdraw, mm -hmm. I can reduce, uh, you know, the drugs and uh, other uh, medicines that uh, we uh, uh, that we have been used before. You have we been can using reduce before. them. Yes, I see. I see. Yes, yes. Hmm. But if it's withhold, what do you do? In withhold, we do not, you know, um, uh, go further. We do not uh, increase the um, drugs and medicines. Uh -huh. And um, in this way, we, uh, you know, actually withhold. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Both are sad, huh? <laughs> Both methods, methods yes, are sad. Course. Yeah, methods. actually. Okay. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, Shirin, would you please read the next sentence? Yes. Uh, conformity, mm -hmm. uh, conformity to social mm -hmm. and moral norms can be sustained. No, no, not sustained. Uh, su sustained mm -hmm. sustained mm -hmm. by uh, the uh, criticism of no. others. Shirin, are you hungry? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're eating the words. Okay, just say them correctly. Criticism, criticism, criticism. Of criticism. Others. Sure, and do you remember others. the word conformity? We had it before. Conformity. Mm. Conformity. Yes. Mm. Beza, do you remember it? Conform. Uh -huh, yes. I conform. know. Yes. Yeah, what was it? What does it mean? What does conform mean? In English, of course. I don't know. Yes. But conform, yes, conforming um, to social and moral norms, maybe sticking to social and moral yes, norms. Yes, very good. Excellent. Yes. Abiding by mm -hmm. the rules. If you conform, yes. uh -huh. you abide by them. You follow the rules. Conformity yes. to mm -hmm. social and moral norms can be sustained. Shirin, what does it mean to say that it can be sustained? What does sustain mean? Sustain? Mm -hmm. Keep? Not in here. Mm -hmm. Maintain? Mm, a, better, a better synonym? That's okay too, but not exactly maintain or not just maintain. Bezat, any ideas? Um, yeah, conformity to social and nor moral norms can be maintained or can be, uh, um, I think maintain is, <laughs> is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. But uh, you need to add something else, another word. Maintain, you maintain can can be sustained by the criticism of others, or 
It can be, mm. it can be strengthened. It can be supported in here. Strengthened, mm -hmm. yes. If yes, more yes. people mm -hmm. conform, these are the things that support this rule. And as you said, maintains yes. it. Maintains it because it supports it, because it strengthens it, invigorates yes, it. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, okay, criticism yes. of others. And, um, Bezot, would you please read the next sentence? I've mentioned before mm -hmm. uh, the Muslim tradition of commanding right and forbidding wrong. Yeah. Bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> was yes. that in Persian? <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. We just chose this Command article because right. of this, because I thought it was very much funny. <laughs> okay, go yes. on, please. Command and the forbidding wrong, wrong yes. which obliges. No. Obliges. No. obliges. No. <laughs> If I tell you the, the correct pronunciation, you will kill yourself. Okay, the noun was Which, obligation, but the pronunciation yes. of the verb changes. Ob obliges. Yes, very good. Okay. I think today is your day. You're not going to kill yourself. Okay. Which obliges every Muslim. What does oblige mean? Um, uh, makes them to do something. Yes, very good. Or yes, morally yeah. or legally, yeah. it, it makes them. Yes, go obliges on. every Muslim mm -hmm. to command right when they see others uh, failing to do what they should. Mm -hmm. Let me scroll. And uh, mm -hmm. and to forbid wrong when they are doing what they shouldn't. Yes, exactly. Okay, now that we're forgetting about this rule, they seem to be starting yeah. um, to, I don't know, respect this. <laughs> what was that? Again, yes. it was funny. Commanding right, forbidding wrong. <laughs> okay. Forbidding. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Beza. Thank you, Shireen. See you again. Thank you. Next thank you. Yeah. It was very good. <laughs> yeah, thank yes. you. Thank okay. you. Have a good day. You too, dear. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.